Flooding in LaFleur County, washing out three bridges in one city, stranding some people in their homes almost all day. Five News reporter Catherine Gilker is also live with more on this. Catherine. This is the Rock Creek Bridge, and as you can see, it's completely covered in water. Dozens of people living between here and the Smith Bridge were stranded earlier today when both bridges were covered in rushing floodwaters. Road crews were able to get the Smith Bridge open about two hours ago, but people living around here say they were worried it would take a lot longer. I'm kind of astounded because it's never done that before. Debbie Yako and her neighbors were stranded at their house because their only two ways out were blocked. One way is a low water bridge, which is flooded, and the concrete bridge on the other side of the Shady Point neighborhood collapsed in floodwaters. This one's been there for 20, 25 years. I'm not even sure, and it's never come up this high. It's never come up past the bottom of it, it's never flooded it at all. Yakel says no water got inside her home, but with even more rain expected tomorrow in LaFleur County, she's worried it will wash out again. I'm fine because I have food and water and I'm okay. My husband is not home. He's out of town right now and he can't get back in unless they do something about the bridge. Brayton Ramsey lives on the same street and says luckily the water stopped at their front porch and didn't come inside. Thunder was really close and like really loud and it's like kind of shaking the house and uh, just kind of woke up and there was water in the garage. Uh, kind of quickly move things out of the garage into the house to get them out of the water. There's no timeline for when the Rock Creek Bridge will be back open, but now that the Smith Bridge is back open, it's just a short detour for people living in this part of town. I'm live in Shady Point, covering news where you live. Katherine Gilker, 5 News. All right, Catherine, thanks. Shady Point police say there was one water rescue around four this morning. They say a family who lives next to a creek had to be rescued.